In this lesson, we're going to take a look at creating the mounts for the C hooks. So I'm going to start by sketching on the top face of my terminal cap here. I'm just going to use that as a, a plane that I'll be sketching on. So I can uh, just double tap on that face there. And so my mounts are just going to be a, a simple circle. Uh, I'm going to sketch a circle maybe down here. And then let's move it into place, let's say about here or so. And notice that I'm relying on my grid to place the center of this circle. So currently one grid equals five millimeters at this zoom level and I've placed it five grid points away from the outer edge of my fin. And then same idea uh, on my other end. Just draw a circle about here and maybe move it into place. Maybe there, so. Um, again, now just set some dimensions. So I'll say the radius of my circle here, let's set to maybe 10 millimeters. And then I want both circles to be the same, so just tap to select both and throw in an equal constraint. So now both should be a 10 millimeter radius. And I'd also like to position these. So I'm going to position them such that they're centered from the, the outside of my fins here. So just to make sure, I can just maybe draw a simple line from the center point of my circle to the outer edge of my fin there. And it should have been 25 millimeters, let's say. And I'll just want to do the same idea on the other end here. So again, just draw a straight line, let's say, from the center point to the end of my fin. And again, it should be 25 millimeters here. So I know that these are now centered within my fin. Notice that if you did not use the grid points in order to center your circles, you could have also used the lines by locking the outer end point of the dimension and just adjusting its length to reposition the circle. So now I'll just jump into a, a bit of a 3D view and I really just want to extrude these down into my frame. So I'll tap to select both sketches here and then I want to extrude them into my frame but again I'm going to have to make use of my replace face tool here as I want them to extrude all the way down to that curved surface. So I can just start by just a, a push pull to extrude there. But then I want to make use of my tools replace face and I want to essentially push the bottom face of this mount here and tap next into the top face of my frame right here. So essentially it's extruding all the way down until it hits that top face of the frame there. And once I'm happy with that I can hit the done check. And of course I want to do the same idea with my other mount. So again tools, replace face, grab the bottom face of my mount, tap next, and select the top face of my frame there, and it should have pushed all the way down as well. And if I'm happy with that, just tap the done check. And now I'd like to throw in the holes on my mounts here. So again, I can just double tap on the top face of the mount, and just draw a circular hole I want to make sure it's concentric so I can make the center points the same and give this a, a dimension as well. Let's say maybe five millimeters. And same idea on the other mount as well there. And make that circle concentric. And again, five millimeters. And now I just want to cut away these portions here. You start to cut away and let's say maybe about 15 millimeters or so. But let's take a look at this hole now. 
And here we can see it has cut through the, the body I've just created, because that was the body I was sketching on. But it didn't cut away my frame or my fin there that was internal to those bodies. So here's a good example where the union command can be very useful. So since right now these are unique bodies, I'm only cutting through the mount. But if they're combined to be the same body, it would cut through the whole body. So what I'm going to do here to show this, I'll just undo my last cut there. And then I'm going to use the union command to combine these bodies with my main frame. So again, I'll go into Tools, Union. And what I'd like to combine or union here is my main frame here that we've already uh, combined all the fins and the terminal box and the hubs and everything else. And I'd also like to combine with that these two mounts. And then I'll just tap Done. So now they all should be one body. Okay. If I'd like, I can change the color here as well. So I'll go into Tools, Color, grab that same red color, and apply it to this entire body here. And now again, let's just see, try that same cutout here. So I'm going to select these two whole sketches and cut away. Again, let's say, 15 millimeters. And now let's take a look and as we can see it should have cut all the way down including that fin portion as it's all now the same body instead of multiple unique bodies.